Excellent job. Right, guys. So today we're going to be looking at control. That's what we're working today. That's the skill that we're looking at today. Control is super important because control is all about making the right decisions that we need to make. Okay. So things like uh, if we were playing with our friends, do you play hard or do you play soft? You, of course, play soft. If we're playing with mum and dad, again, yet yeah, still play soft because even mums and dads can get hurt. And it could be things, I mean, obviously we're not necessarily in school right now, but nevertheless, uh, if you were in school and you needed to get somewhere, um, should you run really, really fast to get there or should you walk and be safe and be careful? Of course, you should be walk, uh, you should be safe, okay? Uh, right now, of course, we've got things like making sure that we're keeping a good distance away from people. So again, that's making the right decisions, that's making the right choices, uh, given what's going on right now, just making sure that we're not too close to each other um, and always keeping our distance. So again, all about making those right choices. And it's all about being in control. It always comes back to that control, which is what we're focusing on right now. Right, guys, so with that in mind, we're going to get started. Ready? Facing this way. And the gym. Excellent job, who's standing super, super smart. Ethan, very well done. Awesome, Lucas, I love it, fantastic. And black belt bow. Right, guys, from there, 10 starters, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Into press up position. You have to do shoulder taps, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back on your feet. Star jumps, but by my count. So in other words, or rather, by my speed. If I go fast, you go fast. If I go slow, you go slow. Ready? Go. Hammer. Do. Set. Net. That's it. That's it. Oh, go. Yow. Ow. Yo. Excellent job. And into that press up position again. Shoulder taps, but again, by my speed. Ready? Go. Hammer. Do. Set, that's it. Yeah, so. It'll go seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very, very well done, guys. Okay, final one. Ready? Ten stand ups. Well, let's see who's the fastest. Me or you. Ready? Any marks? Get set. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I think Lucas was the fastest that time. Very well done. Ready? Into that press position. Shoulder taps. Who's going to do 10 the fastest? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back on your feet. Oh, Ethan. Very fast. Excellent job. Okay, guys. Making the right choices. We're going to stretch our muscles. When our muscles start to hurt, should we stop? We'll keep going. We keep going, remember. So from there, legs out just this wide and try and touch the floor. Don't let your legs bend. Again, make the right choices. Keep those legs straight. Five, four, three, two, and one. Coming up. Now, take your legs out as wide as they will go. So when we get really, really wide, guys, and it hurts, but we think we can go a little bit further, should we stay where we are, or should we try and push ourselves just that little bit more? Again, making the right choices, making the right decisions. Five, four, it's the only way to get better. Three, two, and one. Next job, sitting down. Both feet. Straight ahead of you, are you ready? Hands on your knees and crawl those fingers down, trying to get to your toes. Three, two, one, and both feet together, butterfly stretch, holding your toes and stretching down. And again, making the right choices. If it's easy getting our nose to our toes, then we should challenge ourselves to see if we can get our chins to our feet. That's a little bit harder. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax there, guys. Standing up. 
Shake out your legs. That's it. And face in this way. Jen. Excellent job. Ooh, I can't see Ethan or Cameron anymore. They've got missing, so it's just you, Lucas, for now. Excellent job. You're standing super, super smart. Very well done. And black belt bow. Again, making the right choices. Even though discipline isn't until next week, still standing super smart because that's making the right choice. Okay, guys. Going on to uh, our first drill, you're going to copy me again. So by my speed, if I go fast, you go fast. If I go slow, you go slow. So you ready? From there, jump and bow into that horse riding step. Let's go. So a nice and deep and little fall a little so you can see me a bit better. Okay, guys. So from there, ready? Copy me, same speed. We're gonna start out with that punch. So copy me. Same speed and alpha. Excellent job. Big loud shout as well to finish it off. Other hand now coming in. Same speed and alpha. Good. A little bit faster and alpha. Good. And we're still being strong, guys. So make sure there's a lot of power in the hand. Ready and alpha. Fantastic work. Alpha. 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 alpha, alpha, alpha. Good. High blocks. Ready? So now we're taking our arm up. Nice and steady. Same speed as me. And Asa! Awesome job. I hope that's super strong. Ready? And that other arm. Ready? And Asa! Good. One more time. And Asa! Brilliant job. Well done, guys. Okay. Now, whenever we're doing these moves, guys, we always have a term in junior classes, especially. We say practice makes permanent. I know usually the, the phrase is practice makes perfect, but this is practice makes permanent. If I want to get better at punches, but I practice my punches like this, or just, do they get stronger? No, because they're weak. They're weak punches. And so because I'm practicing weak, I stay weak. So I've got to make sure that no matter what, even if I'm going fast, even if I'm going slow, I push myself. Bam! Bam! That's how I make my uh, moves stronger. That's how I get better. So no matter what, I want you to visualize someone trying to hit you. So if you're trying to defend yourself with this high block, someone's trying to catch you on the head and you're stopping them and you question you've got to ask yourself is, is he strong enough to stop me? Okay, now we're going to go for low blocks. This is if someone's trying to kick us in the legs. Okay, so someone's trying to kick down there. If someone's trying to kick you guys, this low block's got to be super strong. So you ready? Touch your shoulder, and we're going to go down with a big, loud, Asa! Good, and again, it's still super strong, guys. Other side, touching the shoulder, going down, same speed as me, and Asa! Good. Back to the other side, a little bit faster, touch that shoulder, and Asa! Good. And then one more time on the other side, touch that shoulder, and Asa! Good job. And relax there. Okay, one more time now, we're going to mix it all together. So you ready? Into the whole side stance. Same speed as me, first time, we're gonna go up. Ready, so copy me, both hands. Going up, good. Bringing them down because you're now going to go in. Taking them back, out. Touch your shoulders, going down. Pull your arms back to your hips. And then get them ready to push down. Good. Brilliant control, Ethan. Copy me exactly there. And Lucas. Ready, guys? Both hands again. Going. Up. Coming in. Going out. Touch. Going down. Back. And push down. Good. Even faster. Ready? Go. Up. In, out, touch, down, back, push down, even faster, go.
Go up, in, out, touch, down, back, push down. Even faster. Go up, in, out, touch, down, back, push down. Faster. Go up, in, out, touch, down, back, push down. <laughs> Should we go faster? Yeah? No. <laughs> very, very well done, guys. Excellent job. And from there, this is me, the chin. And flat belt bow. Again, making the right choices. So make sure you're showing that attention to us if you see the smart. Right, guys. Now, I'm going to need someone to hold something for you. Hold a cushion, specifically. Okay? I'm going to do this in sort of cushion shape. That'll do. Okay. So, guys, what's going to happen now is someone's just going to hold the cushion out in front of them. Okay? And what I want you to do. They're going to hold it really delicately. In other words, they're not going to hold it tight. They're just going to have it almost hanging on their fingers. So if you're not careful, it could drop. Okay? So they're just going to hold it very delicately in their fingers. And what I want you guys to do is I want you to punch that cushion but it can't fall out of their hands. So in other words, they're holding it really weak so that even a, a slightly hard punch will knock it out of their hands, okay? So partners holding that cushion nice and weak, everyone else, just to try and punch that cushion. Still punching fast, but you're just going to try and be very controlled, be soft as you hit. So, oh, even softer. So I like that, Ethan, but even softer, go on. That's it, exactly, good. So keep, oh, <laughs> keep that softness, try and go faster. So the challenge is, guys, is to be soft, but you're still fast, okay? So if I just get a target in front of me so you can see better what exactly I'm doing, okay? So I'm aiming for that target, but I'm going to be super soft, so I'm hitting it, but only just ever so slightly. Okay, so I'm still being fast, but I'm just being super soft. That's the black belt challenge, very, very well done. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice work. Okay, this time, guys. We're still holding the cushion in the same way, but now, partners, I want you to make sure you're doing this properly. Hold it as far away from you as you can. Because now, guys, you're trying to push it out of their hands. Okay? So punch it out of their hands. Go. Excellent job. So you're trying to punch that target out of their hands. Go. I'm giving the arms length away so you've got plenty of room without hurting anybody. That's it. And then partners, if you want to make it a little bit harder, just hold on to that pad a little, or that cushion a little bit tighter. Not too tight, not impossible, but just there. And obviously be very careful that that pad doesn't hit you in the face. <laughs> That's it. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Okay, guys. So now, why did I put it over here? I don't know if I did. Anyway, now you're going to do the exact same thing again, holding it for soft, and this time you hold it flat. So now, guys, you're trying to kick that pad, but super, super soft. So again, it's only just delicately hanging in their hands. So if you hit it too hard, you're going to knock it out of their hands. Don't want you to do that just yet. You're going to be super fast and super soft, but you're not going to hit that target too hard. Brilliant control, Lucas. That's fantastic. Go try, Cameron. So again, just holding that target flat, partners. Just holding it nice and flat. That's it. The pad is just delicately hanging on your fingers. That's it. Five, four, three, two. And one. Okay, same again, holding it flat. You might hold it a little tighter because now you're going to try and hit that out of your partner's hands, guys. So you ready? Off you go. So the pads there, you're going to, or the cushions there, trying to hit it out of their hands. <laughs> Good. And make sure you do hit the cushion, guys, or whatever it is they're holding. Don't hit their hands. That's it. Whoa! <laughs> Be very careful with the flying pads. Excellent job. 
Again, if it's really easy for them to knock it out of your hands, guys, partners, you can just make it a little bit harder. Just hold on to that pad a little tighter. Not too tight, but just, just enough so it's a bit more of a challenge. So you really have to get hard. Remember what I said earlier, guys, practice makes permanent. So you, by practicing soft, you work that control. You work your ability to control your moves. By practicing hard, you make your muscles stronger. You develop those muscles so that they can hit harder and be stronger. So that's why I'm asking Paris to challenge you. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax there. Okay, so this time, kind of going through what we did before. For this one, guys, you can actually either hold it out in front of you, like I was doing a second ago, or you could hold it out to the side of you, okay? Because you're going to now do a side kick, guys, okay? So you're going to now stab this target to the side kick, but you're going to obviously make sure that you're nice and soft. Don't kick the pad or cushion out of your partner's hands. Are you ready? Off you go. So the pad is just sort of being held out to the side. It's still in the same format. So again, one hand on top, one hand on the bottom, or you're holding it out in front of you, both hands on either side. And you're just being very delicate, trying not to knock that pad out of their hands. You want to be really nasty as well, uh, partners. You could have it where you're literally just holding it with one hand very precariously, that even the slightest nudge will not get out of the hands. If you really want it to be nasty, give them a challenge. That's if they're being super, super controlled as it is. That's it, 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. That's really well done, guys. I noticed some of us were using uh, one leg on that one, guys. It's good because that means that leg gets really, really strong. We should work in both, okay? Okay, this time, same again. Holding in the exact same place, but now you're trying to knock it out of their hands. So again, choice is yours. Either hold it in front or out to the side. Try and knock that pad out of their hands. Off you go with that side kick. Go on, super strong. And again, if it's super easy, if they're able to knock that pad off, pushing out your hands, guys. Just make that grip a little tighter. Just hold on a little bit tighter. That's it. Brilliant, Ethan. Love it. Brilliant sidekicks, Lucas. I love your kicks. Very, very well done. Come on, Cameron. Let's see your sidekicks. Let's go. That's it. Good try. Keep going. Come on. <laughs> see your sidekicks. Five, four, three, two. And one. Very, very well done, guys. Yes, give your partner a high five. They've been a big help on that one. Very, very well done. Okay, this time, guys, let me just quickly remind myself. Ah, yes, right. So your partner's going to stick around, guys, but you get to put your cushion that you had down to one side because you won't need it anymore, okay? Instead, what your partner is going to do is they're going to try and do a hook punch against you. Okay, so in a moment, they're going to swing their arm towards your head. Of course, you're not going to let them get away with that. You're not going to let them hit you in the head. Okay, that's definitely not what I'm trying to teach you. So what you're going to do when that comes around, you're going to get your arms like this. Okay, you're going to make sure your fingers are nice and straight and your arms are really strong like that. They're not going to move, okay? And then as that person or as your partner tries to do that hook punch, I want you to step in and I want you to stop their arm with both of those uh, hands, okay? So what I want you to do is put one hand on the wrist and the other hand a bit higher up the arm when you stop it. Are you ready? Off you go. So they're gonna swing and you're gonna try and stop them. Excellent job, well done Ethan. Keep going guys, it's in your own time. Taking turns on both arms as well. So it's one arm, it might be the other arm, it might be the other arm. That's it. And you try and stop them, okay? Now, if someone was trying to attack you, of course, with this attack, it's probably going to be strong. So that's why we need super strong or hard blocks. Because it needs to be super immovable. We can't allow that punch to hit us. That's it. 
three, two, one, and relax. Very, very well done, guys. It's not easy to do that, so very, very well done for those of you that hold it off. Keep in mind, though, as well, you're looking to try and stop their arm as it comes towards you. Try not to almost attack the arm yourself because it might leave you open or leave you defenseless, okay? Now we're going to finish this off. Once you have succeeded in stopping their arm, you're going to grab their wrist and chop them in the neck, okay? So the move now is you stop their attack, grab, and chop, okay? Now remember, partners are the attackers on this, and ninjas are the defenders, that's it. And even though they're attacking us guys, they are still our partners. So I don't want you to hurt them on this second attack, okay? So make the first one super hard, and then super soft, like we were doing before. Fast, but soft, so fast, but soft. Off you go. So that first attack is strong, but that second attack, just make sure you're nice and controlled so that you don't hurt your partner. That's it. Very, very well done. Brilliant, Ethan, doing really well. Good try, Lucas. Keep trying. Well done. So remember, it's the partners that do the punch, and it is the ninjas that stop the attack. Very, very well done again, Ethan, doing brilliant there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax there. Okay, guys. So this time, this is, uh, we're going to move on to a different uh, attack, a uh, different defense. This time, guys, in a moment, your partners are going to grab both of your wrists. So your hands are going to be here, and they're going to grab your wrists, okay? And I'm going to show you just very quickly how to get out of it. But of course, it takes a lot of uh, practice and speed. So, the first thing that's going to happen when they grab you, you're going to turn your hands around. You're then going to take a big step back. Not a little step back or a medium step back. A big step back. And then you're going to bring your hands up like this. Okay, like you're lifting weights, okay, and you've got to try and do that nice and fast. So you get grabbed, turn your hands, big step back, and then pull your hands towards you as fast as you can. Ready? Off you go. Give it a try, guys. This is a different self defense move. That's it. Big step back, and then pull. That's it. Pull. There it was. Good. Because what you're doing, guys, is you're turning their thumbs towards you. You're, you're turning their hands around so that you're exposing the thumbs and then you're pulling against those thumbs which is the main area of weakness on a grip. If someone tries to grab you and they don't use their thumb, their grip is substantially weaker. So you're turning their hands around to go against that thumb so that when you pull you can break their grip easy. That's it. Just keep practicing guys. A couple more seconds. Five, four, three, ooh, two, and one. You okay, Lucas? I love the determination. <laughs> Goodness me. Careful. Right, guys. Nice job. Give your partners a high five. They've been awesome. They've been a big help today. Thank you so much, partners. Now that we're moving on, and we're moving on to, to finish off with something, okay? So, are you ready, guys? Let's see how well you can stay completely still. Are you ready? Are you ready to move this out of the way everyone? Okay. When I'm looking at you, you must freeze. However you choose to freeze, that's up to you. Okay? You can freeze like this, or this, or this. Okay? However you choose to freeze, that's up to you. But when I'm looking at you, you will stay frozen. When I'm not looking, you're going to sprint as fast as you can on the spot. So you ready, guys? And sprint, 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 freeze! Don't move. Don't move. I'm watching. Not even a little twitch. Can't move, can't shake. If you decided to stand on one leg, then it's a little bit harder because you've got to stay on that one leg. He does not move yet. That's brilliant control. Lucas. Oh. Try and stay still, Cameron, that's it. 
Okay, and spread down. Freeze! I'm watching you. Little, little steps. Oh, very well done, guys. Okay, this time I ask you to freeze like this. Everyone has to freeze like this. So you ready? And run as fast as you can, guys. Run, 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 and freeze. Right, let's see. I'm moving. No, move. even when your arms get tired, guys, you're not allowed to move. And raise both arms. Very well done. Excellent, guys. And sprint. Go, 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 go. Run, 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 run. Fast, 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 fast. And freeze. Oh. Did you even run, Ethan? It was like you haven't even moved. Very well done. I love that. Fantastic work. Final challenge, guys. This time you must freeze like this. Oh, that's a lot harder. So you've got to freeze on one leg. One arm is doing a low block and one arm is doing a high block. A little bit of coordination in there as well. So you ready, guys? And run as fast as you can. Run, 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 run. Faster, 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 faster. Freeze. Now you're one leg in here. Excellent, Lucas. Brilliant, Ethan. Not falling over, I hope. Not wobbling a bit. <laughs> Very well done, and run, 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 fast, 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 you done a brilliant job being super hard, super uh, soft when you need to be, and making the right choices throughout the class. Remember what I was saying as well, practice makes permanent. So when we practice, we should practice with purpose, okay? And that's what, that's the right decision there, guys. So no matter what you do, whether you're doing the martial arts uh, in the club, or you're helping mum and dad, you're doing schoolwork, do your very best, get into the practice of it, and you will get better, and it's the right thing to do. Guys, you have been amazing. I want you to get a high five of every single person in your house before uh, the end of the day, and I will see you next time. Very well done, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.